Prof. Dr. Dr. Georg Birkmeier, der Entdecker der therapeutischen Wirkung von NADH, lud ein in den Wiener Hollmann Salon zu zwei Vorträgen zu NADH. Einige der Gäste sind bereits vertraut mit der Wirkungsweise von NADH. Sie nehmen dieses Nahrungsergänzungsmittel schon länger. Wie auch die Fürstin Dr. Therese von Schwarzenberg. Ich habe begonnen mit NADH vor zwei Jahren. Vor zwei Jahren hatte ich eine schwere Revisionsoperation am Rückenmark und hatte nachher ähm, sehr starke Schmerzen. Und äh, der Dr. Birkmeier kannte ich schon vorher und habe ihn gebeten, mir das entsprechende NADH zu geben. Und habe dann angefangen, das nadh Adenin einzunehmen. Und das hat dann meinen Zustand deutlich gebessert. Seit einem Skiunfall vor 20 Jahren ist die Ärztin für Allgemeinmedizin querschnittsgelähmt. Sie vertraut verschiedenen NADH-Produkten und pflegt einen engen Austausch zu Professor Birkmeier. Was genau hat sich verbessert bei Ihnen? Ja, die Schmerzen haben sich verbessert. Und äh, verbessert hat sich dann auch dieses Fatigue-Syndrom, die Müdigkeit. Das ist dann später gekommen, wie ich dann schon in der Rehab war und, und wieder gehen konnte und mich bewegen konnte. Da verbessert NADH ganz entscheidend die, die Müdigkeit, die jeder Querschnittpatient hat. Also Schmerz, Müdigkeit und wahrscheinlich auch die Beweglichkeit. Ich meine, das geht ja dann Hand in Hand. Was würden Sie Menschen raten, die jetzt zum ersten Mal etwas über NADH hören? Ähm, einfach ausprobieren, auch zur Prävention? Oder was wäre sozusagen so Ihre Idee, eine Botschaft loszuwerden? Möglicherweise über ein Mittel, was ja offensichtlich sehr wirksam ist, aber noch nicht so bekannt ist. Ja, also ich würde sagen, das hängt von den Beschwerden ab. Äh, eigentlich kann man es bei fast jeder Beschwerde nehmen. Die Dosierung ist nach oben offen und ich würde wirklich die, die Botschaft würde laden, äh, es auszuprobieren. Dr. Joasia Wolf ist Fachärztin für Anästhesie in Wien. Frau Wolf, Sie nehmen auch NADH. Welche Erfahrungen haben Sie damit gemacht? Naja, ich nehme äh, Serum für die Haut mhm. und ich mache ein, ein der Früh und am Abend und bin sehr zufrieden eigentlich, soweit so gut. Was war der Anlass, äh, auf das Serum äh, zu kommen? Also das hat ja, ich das in ADH nehme ich sowieso eine Tablette täglich immer und, und bin nicht krank. <lacht> Wann haben Sie ein ADH entdeckt? Vor ein paar Jahren eigentlich schon. Ich habe mehrere Vorträge von Professor Birkmeier gehört und habe mich dafür interessiert. Ich lese über diese Sache sehr viel, <lacht> obwohl ich nicht in diesem Fach bin, sondern Anästhesistin. Aber ich finde, ich finde, es wirkt. Da der algerische Gastredner Dr. Bali noch im Anflug war, begann der Gastgeber Professor Birkmeier mit seinem Vortrag. Er spricht über NADH, die einzig wissenschaftlich bewiesene Anti-Aging-Substanz und ihre therapeutische Anwendung. And it stimulates nitric oxide production. This is particularly important for the doctors who are in the audience, that if you NADH stimulates nitric oxide production and improves blood flow. Anyhow, NADH as cellular energy fuel. Now comes the critical question. Can we increase the energy production in the cell? And the answer is yes, we can. By NADH. And now you will say, show me the evidence. We do not believe in fairy tales. We want scientific evidence. And here is the scientific evidence. If you see these cells in tissue culture, which still contract, and if you add NADH to these cells, according to the biochemistry, nothing should happen. But what we found, you have 30% more ATP, which is the You know, the energy stored form and the consequences is if you add NADH to these cells, they live longer, they live twice as long than without. And this is clear evidence that NADH prolongs the lifespan of cells and tissue and we have applied for a patent which in the last 
says specifically the lifespan and vitality of blood cells, transplantable organs and tissues, and living organisms can be prolonged. So we can all prolong your life. The only thing is you have to eat as much NADH as you can. After this study, you know, we learned from Professor Vikovanyok in Kiev. He treated heart uh, infarct patient, and in between two weeks, with 40 milligrams, only with two tablets, you get an improvement in this heart patient. So I can only recommend it, heart patient should take NADH. There are no side effects, there are no overdosage effects. NADH repairs damaged cells. I don't want to go into details, but my friend in China has shown if he damaged the cells by radiotherapy, literally, and then incubates them with NADH, he can recover these damaged cells. It normalizes cholesterol and blood pressure. And this is a statement of Dr. Richard Bauswater, where I'm quite proud to read it for you. While there is no such thing as the most important compound in the body, or even the most important antioxidant, NADH comes as close as a single compound can. This makes me really vain. Anyhow, I will practice with the mic. NADH stimulates dopamine and adrenaline, and this is all what we get from dopamine and adrenaline. The mood is better, the power, the cognition, etc. You know, Parkinsonian patients, they do have a low level of dopamine. They can hardly punch, and they, you know, have a bad mood, etc. The last thing is the increase in nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a neurotransmitter, relaxes blood vessel, and brings more blood into the organs. Therefore, it helps with angina, asthma, migraine, and erectile dysfunction. This is my late father. He showed that and said, this will become a world wonder. We are not that far yet, but we are approaching it. And this treatment was made in 1987, so 27 years ago. Unfortunately, my father could not you know, survive until we have some more success, but he was the discoverer of the classical therapy for Parkinson's disease. And he was invited to treat Mao Zedong in Beijing. He never treated Muhammad Ali, but he should have. Anyhow, important facts about NADH. NADH is like a prima donna. You know, you look at it and it's destroyed. It's very reactive a very reactive substance which is rapidly destroyed by air, light, oxygen and oxidizing compounds. And in order to make it bioavailable, we have to stabilize it and transform it into an oral absorbable form. And we succeeded after almost five years of extensive research. We found a stabilizer and we found a filler which does not oxidize the NADH. And for those, uh, we received a number of patents worldwide, even in China, whatever that means. Anyhow, we have made studies on Parkinson's disease. My late father treated more than 1,000 patients on Parkinson's disease intravenously and as an oral tablet, all improved, 93% improved. We did a study on Georgetown University in Washington, FDA approved double blind study. The results were after the six months 72% improved. We had a study also at Georgetown University with Alzheimer's dementia. This was the document we submitted to the FDA with all the toxicology, pharmacology, etc. And four weeks after we submitted, we got the green light. You can perform with the study because your toxicology data are so safe. So we did the study, and these are the results of the study. After this is the baseline. And I have to admit, it's very difficult to have such a baseline with patients which are equally demand. It's very hard to find. Anyhow, after six months, the NADH group improved in certain cognitive functions, whereas the placebo group declined. So NADH is the first and so far only substance which leads to improvement in Alzheimer patient that has been published. Now NADH and cancer. This is how a cancer cell looks. Very little ATP, very little energy, no 
regulatory proteins on the cell surface. Now you give them NADH, and all of a sudden they make more ATP, and they make the very essential regulatory proteins on the surface. And then the cancer cell stops growing. So it's not chemotherapy killing by prescription, but it's a completely different the mechanism. We give the cells more energy and they, be, they turn from schizophrenic into normal. And based on this, we have been treated almost 100 patients. But I want to show you the, the patient SEMSA, which we treated together with my friend Ilyas Bali. I hope he will come soon. This was a 40 years, 42 years old oil manager with three children. And he had a malignant tumor in the cervical uh, spine. You can see it here. He was totally paralyzed, quadriplegic, wheelchaired, etc. He decided, I mean, uh, it was not operable, and he denied chemotherapy and radiation. And he only took NADH and vitamin C. And this, after three months, that this was July. Uh, 2013, and this was November 2013, and we met him end of March in Algier, and he's absolutely normal. He takes eight tablets of NADH, but he's in good shape and yeah, works again as a manager. So this is a summary of all the patients I have been treating so far. We have 21 prostate cancer patients, and TR means tumor remission, and TF means tumor free. So we have 21 patients with 11 tumor free. We have mammary carcinoma patient. We have lung cancer patient, colon cancer patient, ovarian cancer. Non Hodgkin lymphoma is regarded as absolute fatal disease. Two are free since three years. One were at the Schwarzenberg lecture in, in Prague and he confirmed my statements. Glioblastoma. Etc. I have been invited to write an article about NADH in cancer prevention therapy, and I'm even invited to the Austrian Menopause Congress from the high the dignity of professors to give a lecture on the effect of NADH on chemo prevention. Hmm? This is the product I'm talking about, and we have also. Uh, given that to a number of diabetic patients, the summary is uh, 24, 24 patients, 80 milligrams, it's four tablets a day, and all have a sh blood sugar level of 130 to 150, and HbA1c 6.4. But with the classical anti-diabetic medication like metformin, like glucophage, you never come below 200. And metformin stops energy production in every cell. And the pharma industry knows that. So they don't want to cure us, but to sell the metformin. Anyhow, the, I have, and I, not all the 24, but I have at least 20 patients where the university clinic in Vienna confirmed that they don't need anti-diabetic medication anymore. 